And we're back. And if you're a big fan of cinema, this edition of Bay Sunday is for you because it is Frameline time as the uh, world's first and largest lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender film festival celebrates its 35th anniversary. Frameline executive director Casey Price and filmmaker Andy Abrahams Wilson join me now to talk about this incredible event. And gentlemen, thank you for coming on the show today. Thanks, Sydney. Uh, Casey, I'm going to start with you. I mean, what is it about the Barrier, this wealth of film ind filmmakers, independent film festivals? I mean, Cinequest, mm -hmm. Quark Map, Frameline, well, um, Mill Valley? Yeah, Northern California and the Bay Area have had a long history of uh, supporting independent film. Um, it's almost as if it's a uh, um, an answer to Hollywood. And there have been, I think, uh, currently we have more than 40 uh, film festivals throughout That's the Bay fantastic. Area. It's really amazing. It's almost like we can do it and sometimes we can do it better, a yeah. lot better. Mm -hmm. Well, let's talk about one of the films that you have in the festival. Andy, this is your film, The Grove. Quickly tell me about it. Storyline. Yeah, The Grove is about the National AIDS Memorial, the National AIDS Memorial Grove. It started out uh, in 1988, became um, an official um, memorial for people who died from AIDS in 1991, and then in 1996 it became a national memorial. And there's only three of them in California and um, not too many of them in the United States, but people don't know that there's a National AIDS Memorial, um, and it's right here in San Francisco. Well, let's, let's, let's show them. Let's take a look at a clip from Andy's film, The Grove. We're gonna go see the Japanese tea garden. There's so many different paths, and it's really, it looks really cool down there. And the, what is it called, the aid, the, it's Grove. Yeah, it looks pretty, but we're trying to find the Japanese tea garden because we heard it's really pretty, so we'll get there eventually. Andy, what was it about this subject that spoke to you? What spoke to me was the voice of nature, actually, that nature was the like? uh, place yeah. of this memorial. Oh, it's very neat, memorials are usually monolith structures, and, um, but this was a, 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 a living. beautiful, it's a, living. it's a living memorial, and it's a beautiful, not just a metaphor, but, but nature reflects our, our own human processes, and so therefore we're getting closer to nature, we're getting closer to ourselves. It's a healing place, and people in the AIDS community who suffered alone um, needed that place of healing and community. Casey, let's talk about, in addition to The Grove, give us a, a, an idea of the opening and closing films, which are always uh, highly anticipated. Right. We have two really exciting opening and closing night films this year. Opening is called Gun Hill Road. Uh, it premiered at Sundance this past wow. January, and it is an absolutely stunning and beautiful story about a young Latina girl uh, transitioning. Uh, she uh, grows up in the Bronx. Uh, her father is played by Isai Morales uh, from La Bamba and NYPD Blue and uh, her mother is uh, played by Judy Reyes from Scrubs. Uh, excellent story. I can see the enthusiasm um, uh, on both of your faces. Andy, to, to be able to, to see what other filmmakers are making, it just me must be really just an exciting time for you, not only to show your film, but see others. Yes, I, absolutely. It's, all, it's wonderful to be part of this community, but it's really wonderful to bring this film to such a large audience. The, one of the problems is that although this is a National AIDS Memorial, um, and more, as, as the clip said, more people have died from AIDS than in all the wars since 1900. And we have a lot of national memorials for those things. Um, so we're bringing awareness about this issue. We're bringing the national AIDS uh, memorial really to a national status. So that makes me very happy. People need to know about it. And Casey, congratulations. 35 years of frame line. That's wonderful. Casey Price and Andy Abrahams Wilson, thanks so much for joining us today. And uh, frame line, the frame line 35th film festival, I should say frame line 35 film festival, will have screenings for 11 days from June 16th through June 26th at the Castro, Roxy, and Victoria theaters in San Francisco. I'm Sydney Kohara. Thanks for joining us. See you next week.